Hi, uh, welcome to 305 uh, Strength of Materials or Mechanics of Materials. Today we are going to really look at and do some calculations on what happens to stresses on, on all kinds of faces. Okay, so when you take a cube or something like that, we have to have a way of describing which surface we are talking about. Okay, so what we want to do is to, is to be able to think about how do we represent surfaces. How do we identify surfaces? So let us start with that. So our idea is how to name and identify faces on or let us make it surfaces. Okay, here's a cube. And uh, just to make sure that we are talking about the same stuff, this is the z direction, this is the x direction, this is the y direction. So I have a cube along the x, y, z and you can see three surfaces on it, right? And I just want to make sure that we all know which surface we are talking about. So I'm going to do something uh, crazy. So what we are going to do is pretend as if each surface has a face on it. So I'm going to put a face here. Let's see if it works. Oh, there you go. I'll tell you who this guy is in a second. He's a very, very famous mathematician. So let's make sure that, oh, it's just a joke, you know what I mean. So you'll get the idea. Also, I mean, that's a way for me to in incorporate one of my great heroes into this thing there. So I'm imagining this person, right? This person by the name is a very, 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 very famous mathematician and engineer. His name uh, is uh, very well known in the field of mathematics and his name is Leonard Euler, who was a Swiss mathematician um, and really a really remarkable person. So we have now have a face on which we have Leonard Euler. Okay. If I put a face on an object, I look at the nose and I decide which way it's pointing. So when I ask you to point east, what do you do? You turn your face until it points east, right? And then your, the way your nose points is the direction. So in this particular case, Leonard Euler's nose points this way. And so this face will be called the X face. Why the X face? Because the nose points in the X direction. Okay, so face X means nose points in the x direction. So, can you see that if I draw a face here like that, that's the eye, that's the nose, that's the mouth, okay? So this time for this surface, the face is pointing that way and this will be called the face Y. And then if I draw a surface, you know, there's the nose and then there's the mouth and here is the eye, you know, and then this face is facing the Z direction. So you got the idea, right? So faces are represented by which way their nose is pointing. So if I say, the face, this is the N face, that means the nose is for pointing in the N direction. That's how I identify faces. Okay, so you might thinking, oh, what's the big deal? I knew this already or whatever. So let's look at a more, slightly more complicated case. Let's see if we can do this right. Yeah, let's take a cylinder now. Good. Now you got a, I don't have a cube, I have a cylinder. So let's make the cylinder a little bit wider so that it's easier for us to take a look. There, that's a cylinder and I'm going to cut out a piece of this. So now it will get tricky once you get to a cylinder. So I want you to understand that, uh, you know, well, let's see, there you go. So there's my cylinder, I'm going to cut a piece out like that. Can you see? Think of like a small size slice of cake. So <clears throat> in this one, if you are if you are familiar with this, then this is the R direction, 
that's the perpendicular to the r direction is the theta direction can you see that's the z direction so let me ask you the following question this face the top what will it be called and think about it and answer it before you plunge in if you answered that that's called the z face you are correct because its nose points in the z direction how about this guy what face is this one so let's make a different color what about this face okay let's see let's draw the nose n and it points in the r direction so this will be called the r face can you see that and then the last but not the least let's look at this face and can you see that the nose is perpendicular to r and that is the called the theta face make sense to you so let me draw this again so if you want to find the face you have to draw the slice and this one this face is in the r direction this face is in the theta direction this face is in the z direction that's how we refer to faces okay so when i say r face it means the face whose nose points in the r direction so you have to think of yourself you point in the r direction and your face okay so you got that right so that's item number 1 so now that we have our faces clear now we are going to look at our notations for stresses so our next topic is notation for stress so let's go back to our usual situation i have a nice clean smooth bar and i have load f just let us make 2 kN just to make things and here is the bar okay and i'm going to look at this face i'm going to cut it there so how do i refer to this face well here is my coordinate system x is like this y is like that okay so if i cut it like this is it obvious to you that i'll get a piece like that and this is the face this hatched area is the face that i'm talking about and it points and its nose points in the n equal to x direction okay how about the force on this face is it obvious to you that the force is like that f is also in the x direction so i know that sigma equals f over a right which is the normal stress so the nice thing is n for nose n for normal so it's very easy for you to remember normal means nose so imagine that you are cutting a face you are looking at the face and you figure out which way the nose is pointing okay that's how it goes i i keep telling you this because there's a lot of confusion about it okay fine so now this particular stress which is the normal stress on this face will be called sigma so i'm going to write this large because we're going to discuss it a bit sigma x x notice it has two notations so what does it mean so i'll give you the short form for this it is face the force so remember this you cannot do mechanics until you can face the force okay so that's how it goes so what do i mean by face the force the first one 